Hello guys, welcome. Um, today I'll be teaching you about the essential steps you need to consider before you measure your walls, before you take off uh, your walls. And we'll be looking at uh, how you are going to use our plan swift template to measure for walls. So, um, I, if you're gearing up to measure walls as a quantity surveyor, before you dive into the tax, there are crucial uh, preliminary steps you must take to ensure accuracy and avoid discrepancy. Um, one such step is, you know, you have to check the doors and the window schedule and confirm uh, details from the drawings. So, you must be asking, uh, why is this important? Um, well, um, imagine measuring walls only to realize later that there is a mismatch between the measurements and what's depicted in the drawing. That's not just a headache. It can lead to costly errors down the lines. So, here are simple steps uh, that are going to guide you on uh, how to get it right from the from, uh, start. So, the first on the list is you have to review the window and the door schedule. You know, the window and the door schedule provides a comprehensive list of all windows in the building along with the dimension types and other pertinent details. Take the time to go through this document meticulously and serve as your roadmap for identifying windows and understanding their specification. Okay, so we're going to look at how the windows and door schedules are. So, going through this drawing, uh, this is the drawings. This is the windows and the door schedule. As you can see, we have the size. Uh, we have the symbol. D1, D2, D3. We have the diagram. And we also have the long. We have the description. These are the descriptions of the windows that are supposed to be in this road. Okay. After you've reviewed the windows and the door schedule, um, you are going to, you know, confirm the details from the drawing. You don't solely rely on the windows and door schedule. Refer to the architectural drawing as well. These drawings provide visual representation of the building layout, including the placement and design of doors and windows. Cross-check the information from the doors and window schedule with what you see in the drawing to ensure accuracy and consistency. So you have to confirm from the drawings to see that this really relates. So um, we're going to look at the drawing to ensure that. Uh, so you can see D1. D1 is 21 by 1.5. D2 is between 1.9 to 1.1. .1. You're going to see it all. And then what we're going to do, we're going to cross check. And as you can see, I cross check um, D2. And I saw that uh, this is what I'm seeing here. D2 is 2.95. So um, if I had, you know, look at just this, um, the windows and the door schedule here for D2, as you can see, D2 is tw uh, 21. Um, by, I mean, 2.1 by 0 0.9 in meters, right? So you see, this is the reason why you need to cross check to avoid uh, discrepancy between, uh, you know, to, you know, avoid this discrepancy between drawings. Okay. It might be that the architect makes some little mistakes and had this uh, window schedule that was not supposed to be here. So maybe he, and he mistakenly did that. Okay. So you have to um, look at all the drawings uh, before you will begin. You also check, uh, so we're going to check the warrant to ensure you have to check all of this, right? You could, for you to check, you just use your dimension. And after you must have scale. If you don't know how to scale, you can go below the video and then how to skip. So you can just decide to scale. As you can see, the one is 1.5, right? It's 1.5 here. All right. 
and it's 1.5 i will have to zoom in for you to you know see so um as you can see door one is 1.5 and door two is not the way they said it is so also we will have to check the door three to ensure any of this is accurate okay uh, so uh, back to a powerpoint you have to understand the symbols you have to understand the, the the symbols you know in architectural drawing symbols are used to represent various elements including doors and windows you have to familiarize yourself with the symbols to accurately interpret the drawings for instance a simple square with lines uh, indicates the swing direction might represent a door while a cycle might denote uh, you know so you have to you know know the symbols knowing the symbol is uh, crucial for correcting identifying for correctly identifying and measuring openings okay so uh you was uh have come in contact with some of this uh type of the symbols you can see we have the single door opening inward single door opening out single door interior double acting so sometimes you might see some of this you should know that these are the symbols that we have typical window types all right so now let's jump into how we are going to use this template to measure our doors and windows considering all of these uh guidelines that i gave you so let's do that now um first of all you are going to as well when you do when you do that so um the thing you need to realize um is that we got to go we we have got to discover that the door two here there was a discrepancy and not just that the numbers of the of the doors that were you know uh, mentioned in the window schedule is not the same with this so you have to take note of all of this immediately you take note of all of this then you can measure so now let's measure the external works using our template so first of all let's count we're going we're already zooming everything with let's count the door one so that so uh, as you can see, the one is having 13.0, right? The one is having 13.0, 13.0. And when you go to the uh, window schedule, you're going to see that uh, for the door one, um, the one is um, 2.1 2 by 1.5, right? 2.1 by 1.5. You could just take this close you know take it close 2.1 by 1.5 door 2 with uh, you discovered some errors you know you could just uh, uh, make some notes here that you discovered this is it or you can just correct it yourself you could just correct it to avoid any of this so you have uh, and it's a different uh, type of door and then the door 3 so let's let's just use let's just go ahead and just assume this was the only mistake we discovered okay now it's time for us to take off so back to our drawings um what you need to know is that before you take off you need to know the height of this walls and the height is already 3.3 if you check the drawing is 3.3 uh standard height most time is uh is 3.0 but uh now let's let's do that let's measure using that we have 3.3 the height the width of the block what we're doing is 0.23 for the external so now we're going to input our doors and windows uh we already know that door one already is 2.1 2.1 2 by 1.5 and the quantity is as you can see we've already count counted it using the count tool already uh, so what we have it is um, door two door two is uh i mean door one is 13 a number you put in 13 a number door two is uh nine and number we put in nine and number 
dot three is uh, one and number. If this, if the window schedule was um, accurate, we might not have done some of these things. So, but it is not accurate. That's why I had to use the count tool to you know get all of these details available there. So uh, now we're going to input all of these functions, all of these uh, uh, sizes, the sizes of the window. So that as you can see, what we have here was 2.95. So we're going to put 2.95 here, 2.95. I mean, 2.1 by 2.95. 2.95. Or three. We're going to put a 2.1 by 0. Nine. Door four is two point one. But I zero point nine all store according to even some schedule. And uh when we do that you also go to the windows and you input your windows. Though we also found some discrepancy with the windows, but for the sake of this, since I've taught you how to do that, you use your dimension tool and you do that. So uh, now we only have just window one, window four, and window three, right? So the window one length is uh, one point five by one point two. And the quantity here for window one over there is 12. And then, uh, and, uh, we have window two, I mean, window three, window three, we just have one quantity. Window four, we have two quantity, two number of the windows. So now we're going to put the dimensions of window. Two window two is one point two by one point two by one two window three is we don't have window three on this we have window four which is zero point six zero point so oh, sorry introduce zero point six body. Zero one nine. And immediately we do this. We don't even need to do twice, which is to make straight off. Yeah. Now let's take off. So when we're taking off, we just wait to take off directly. Because we've already deducted our opening. We just do that external walls as we measure it. Measure the extent. So you also you need to take into consideration the openings. You go to your three D, and then you check the openings. Then you also put it all over there because we have the space for the opening. As you can see, it seems like the architect made some little errors on the our. Uh, on the symbols of the doors so going to just measure all of this that looks like 230 walls So you're just going to measure this. So 
So uh, immediately you're done with this, you see you already have your square meter here. And one good thing with this template is it is going to show you uh, the the wall finishes, the plaster you're going to use for the external wall as well as the reveals. Okay, and then uh, not just that also, immediately you're done with the external walls, you now do this for the internal walls. For the internal walls, we are having 150. So we click on the internal walls and the uh, For the internal walls, uh, we just have door four, right? Just door four, 3.15. Height is three point. Uh, the LA the doors is door four. So we just go to door four and we look at it. We have twelve of it. Right. So and the size of door four um is uh two point one by zero point nine. You click and then we just begin measure here and this measure so if i was the one i might just decide not to measure all of this thing like we just count one two three four five and you know what it like but it is better for you to do that so let's assume we are done with you know, let's just measure let me know as well Let's just finish it off and then we'll Okay, let's do that. Uh it clip. All right, so immediately you're done with this though. You're going to see that uh, you are you are done with measuring this. As you can see, your internal block problem is 81.2 square meter. So um, that's exactly how uh, you measure your walls and it's now left for you to input this uh, information on your bill of quantity. Thank you, so I'm seeing you another time.